All right, well, before we get going on today's video, we need to introduce you to the newest addition to the Sires household, Rosie. Come here, Rosie. Oh. Rosie. Rosie is our new dog. The kids named her Rosie the second she came home and it just stuck. They refused to change it, so Rosie it is. She is a boxer something mix, little Heinz 57. There's some definitely some boxer in there. We think there might be a little pit bull. Is there a little pit bull in there? Is there a little pit bull in there maybe? <laughs> so we don't know for sure, but we know there's definitely some boxer uh, and she's about two years old. We got her from the local rescue animal shelter. It started off with us, my wife and I, going with my mom because my mom wanted to get a dog and rescue a dog. And well, we both ended up leaving with one. Because if you're an animal lover and you go to one of those places, you, you can't, you can't, it's hard to leave without a dog, okay? You go, they're all looking at you through the cages with the puppy eyes, the Sarah McLaughlin's playing in the, it's, it's rough, it's rough. So we ended up with Miss Rosie here. She's as sweet as can be. She is really great with the kids. She's very friendly. She's very tolerant of our dogs who have been kind of assholes to her, if I'm being honest so far, haven't they, Rosie? They haven't been very nice. They've been like the mean girls, like the click at a school, you're a new kid, you go to school, there's just a clique of girls that are already all friends and they've known each other for years and they're kind of an asshole to the new kid. And I love them to death, but they've been kind of jerks. But that's kind of the thing you deal with anytime you bring a new dog into the house. So they'll all be chum chum before too long. We now have three dogs and three kids. So if they all ever decided to team up and stage a coup, me and the wife are screwed. But today's video is not about dogs. Today's video is about that sweet brown elixir of life, coffee. I know what you thought. You thought when I said sweet brown elixir of life, I was gonna say whiskey. Whiskey also fits that description very well. We're gonna go over, I think it is four of my favorite coffee drinks. And because of the wonderful sponsor of today's video, Cometeer, we are going to go over a few variations of those beverages because a couple of these you have to have like some expensive equipment in order to make them maybe you guys don't have access to that i'm gonna start by saying when i first heard about cometeer i was let's just say skeptical at best i'm a little bit of a coffee enthusiast okay i'm a coffee snob i said what i said i'm a coffee snob i don't even buy pre-ground coffee nevertheless anything that could be considered instant coffee. But this stuff here, it ain't your grandpappy's freeze-dried granules of coffee sadness. What they do here at Cometeer is they freshly brew coffee and then they flash freeze little concentrated coffee ice cubes. So it hasn't been freeze-dried, which I have to assume strips out a lot of the oils and stuff that makes coffee awesome. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with these little coffee ice cubes. You can just add hot water, make a standard cup of coffee, or they're very versatile. You can do lots of other cool stuff, which we're gonna talk about as we go along this video. Everybody that I've given this stuff to is completely surprised this isn't like fresh brewed or pour over coffee. It is just really good. You can set it up to be delivered every month. They're always using different roasters, different roast levels, different coffee beans and stuff. So this is also a great way to try out different types of coffee, different flavor profiles. And because the good folks at Cometeer are sponsoring this video, you know we got a discount code for you. Should be coming up right about now down here probably. And I'll also include it down below. Use that code and it will get you $20 off your first box or your first order and free shipping. Big thank you to the folks at Cometeer for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. All right, first up on cups of coffee deliciousness is the Cafe Latte. Now, a Cafe Latte is an espresso drink. And yes, sometimes I do make the mistake of saying espresso and then everybody calls me on bad. I know it's espresso, there's no X. If y'all have watched me for any length of time, you know I can't talk most of the time. So sometimes it comes out espresso. Cafe Latte is an espresso drink. Now it is a milk forward espresso drink, which is why I normally drink it in the morning. It is generally about one third espresso, two thirds milk. The actual amounts of the espresso and the milk are gonna vary depending on if you want like a gigantic 20 ouncer or something smaller. The way I generally make mine based on the 
cups that I use for my lattes. Pull myself a 35 to 40 gram espresso shot, which is what most people would consider a double. And then I top that off with about eight ounces of steamed milk. A latte is definitely on the milder side of espresso drinks because there is so much milk in there. The milk adds a really nice creaminess. When you steam the milk, it gets really nice and sweet. So it adds a nice amount of sweetness just really pleasant in the morning when maybe you've got an empty stomach and you're not in the mood for just you know strong black coffee. You want something a little milder. A cafe latte is very, very nice. In Italy, if I'm not mistaken, it is like a no-no to order a latte in the afternoon. You go into a cafe in Italy, order a latte at like two or three o'clock in the afternoon, they're gonna look at you like you done lost your damn mind. And that's good. And the struggle is also really real with drinking the lattes with the mustache. I don't care though, it's delicious. Next on our list is probably my favorite espresso drink, the Cortado. It is also the drink that I forget the name of the most, even though I drink them all the time. It could be brain damage. I grew up in the 80s. We didn't wear helmets back in the 80s. The 80s were all about head trauma and hypercolor shirts. Come on, if you grew up in the 80s, you know you remember, or you had, you probably had a hypercolor shirt and you thought it was the coolest thing ever. Funny to play like you did. So a Cortado is very similar to a latte in the fact that it is an espresso drink with espresso and steam milk. The main difference between a Cortado and a latte are the ratios. Where the latte was like one third espresso, two thirds steam milk, Cortado is about a one to one mix. The way I normally make mine is the same thing. I usually pull a double shot, 35, 40 gram, double shot of espresso, and then I usually add about two ounces of steamed milk in a Cortado cup. Yes, they do make specific cups for Cortados. This is a little fancy clear one from Not Neutral. Is this a Not Neutral? Maybe this isn't a Not Neutral. I can't remember the brand. Just fits perfect amount for a nice, strong Cortado. The thing that I like about a Cortado is it is much more espresso forward. So because you don't have near as much milk in there, you still get that super rich flavor of the espresso, but it's slightly sweeter and you still get that nice silky smoothness from the, from the steamed milk. So in my opinion, it's like the best of both worlds. It is also my favorite drink, coffee drink to have with a cigar. Cortado and a good cigar is magical. It's magical. These make an even bigger mess with the mustache. Mm. Mm -mm. Disaster, I know, I can't even look. Yeah, disaster. This is a lot of caffeine I'm drinking. I'm gonna be hopped up by the end of this thing. After this video, well, at least I can edit the video because I probably won't sleep for two days. <laughs> Next on our list of coffee drinks is the coffee drink that needs no introduction. The original, I don't guess it was the original, it might have been the original. Nevertheless, the standard cup of joe, your regular old cup of coffee. You can't really beat it, it's just good. It's good any time of day, it's good in the morning, it's good in the, in the evening after, with dessert. Like a good hot cup of coffee with a piece of apple pie maybe a little scoop of vanilla ice cream, hot apple pie, a little scoop of vanilla ice cream, a cup of coffee, get out of here, forget about it. That is a little slice of heaven right there. Now, as far as brewing goes, there's lots of different ways to brew your standard cup of coffee. I, when I have the time, really do enjoy pour over. I have a Hario V60 and a Chemex that I use. They both brew a slightly different cup of coffee, but both very, very good. I also use my Breville Precision Brewer back here, which is the automatic drip brewer that I use uh, whenever I'm in a rush or don't have time or don't wanna mess with it, just want a cup of coffee. Also an excellent way to make a standard cup of coffee. The standard cup of coffee is the first one that our folks here at Cometeer are gonna come in handy. Now I will say, this is one of the most convenient ways to brew a cup. So all you do is you take their little coffee puck here, let it sit out for just a couple seconds or run it under some hot water so that it thaws out enough to come out of the aluminum thing. There you go. Little coffee cube in a cup. Then you just take some nice hot water, pour it over said coffee cube, about eight ounces worth, but you know, you can tailor that to your preferred strength. I mean, if that's not the quickest damn cup of coffee ever. So I used to use uh, a kettle, which I feel like most people have to do it because you can kind of, you know, keep an eye on the temperature and adjust the temperature that you want. I mean, if you've got a water source and heat in a cup, you can 
have a nice cup of coffee, which is nice. This particular one is from Clatch Coffee. It's a light single origin from Honduras with notes of chocolate, red apple, and toffee. Oh, it's hot. Man, that's good though. You know, regular coffee is one of these ones that I drink different all the time. Sometimes I'm in the mood for just a black cup like this. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a little bit of cream and sugar. It just depends on my mood. But nevertheless, a good old standard cup of coffee. It's hard to beat. It's the OG. With summer rapidly approaching and it getting pretty steamy outside, hell, here in Florida, it is already well into the 80s most days. It's already getting pretty humid and stuffy. Sometimes you're in the mood for that delicious coffee flavor, but the thought of drinking a hot beverage sounds like the second circle of hell. Enter the iced coffee beverage. Two particular ones we're gonna talk about. First, we're gonna talk about the iced latte. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is a latte on ice. Now, there's a couple ways you can go about this. First, the way that I usually make it is you pull yourself a double shot of espresso, you put that in a cup, not a coffee cup, but like a tall glass that you can add some ice to. Then I'm gonna add six to eight ounces of whole milk. I like to add the milk first because it cools the shot down so that way when you add your ice, you're not melting all your ice and immediately diluting everything way too much. You can add a little sugar, you can add a shot of uh, vanilla syrup, a shot of caramel syrup if you wanna make it a little more sweet and dessert-like, or just leave it as it is if you're more of a plain kind of guy. You're just gonna fill that cup completely with ice, give it a stir, and enjoy. They are delicious. You can also, if you want the milk a little thicker, you can use one of those like whiskey milk frother things that, you know, it makes the, the milk a little more the consistency of steamed milk a little thicker, but most of the time I just put regular whole milk in there and it's delicious. And they say, Jeremy, that's all fine and dandy, but I don't have an espresso machine. Can I enjoy a glorious ice latte? Well, yes, you can. Go ahead and put your ice cube of Cometeer in some warm water, just leave it out on the counter for a little while so it thaws out. Once it gets good and thawed out, pour that in your cup instead of your shot of espresso, add your milk, your ice, all the same steps, except use the Cometeer instead of espresso. So you basically get a very, very similar flavor to an ice latte, if not exactly the same, but without the use of a $1,500 espresso machine. but certainly not least when you're in the mood for a cold coffee beverage, but you're not in the mood for that much milk. I mean, I guess you could make it out of like oat milk or soy milk or walnut milk or cashew milk or... Would everyone stop milking shit? There's just too many milks. Point is, it's chilled coffee on ice. You can drink it however you want. You can have it black with a splash of milk, some creamer, oat milk, whatever tickles your pickle. It's much thinner than a standard latte. The viscosity is it's not as heavy. I've seen people make iced coffee about 20 different ways. Some people will put, they'll brew coffee and then put it in the refrigerator to cool down and then put that over ice. Other people brew the coffee at like double strength so that way when they pour the hot coffee over ice and it dilutes, it ends up about the right level. I've seen people use cold brew coffee, which is obviously cold, so you're good to go there. The way I usually make it is when I make my pour over in the morning, I make more than I know I want. That way I have leftover, I stick that in the refrigerator so that way later on in the day when I want to ice coffee, I got some cold coffee, pour that over ice, Bob's your uncle. The other nice convenient way to make iced coffee, and again, the folks at Cometeer come in clutch here, is because Cometeer is a frozen ice cube, you're already dealing with the cold, you don't have to worry about dilution. Take your Cometeer ice cube puck thing, leave it out on the counter, put in some warm water, thaw it out, put that in a cup. Instead of adding milk like you do the ice latte, you just add about six or eight ounces of water to your correct strength or dilution ratio you like, add some ice, it's what I got right here, and it's delicious. I put a splash of half and half in this one. It's not getting in my mustache. It's a glorious day. You guys enjoyed that, and before everybody freaks out and says, did you just light your cigar with a Zippo? Because my God, people get weird about that. Zippo came out with a new soft flame butane insert. So it's butane, but it's a soft flame. But it's not a lighter fluid for you purists that like to freak out every time you see somebody lighting a cigar with a zippo.
relax. Ended up being five, I think I said four in the beginning, but it was five, of the coffee drinks that I go to on a regular basis. If you haven't tried these, I strongly suggest you try them. They're delicious. And for all you guys that hung in here till the end, to reward my peeps that hang in to the end of my long videos, my long-winded videos, hold on, wait. Right here. If you can see this guy, nice fellow cometeer sent me this. Uh, and I already had one, so I've got an extra. It's a matte black fellow kettle that is digital. You can adjust the temperature of it. It'll hold the temperature of the kettle. Really fantastic. I'm gonna give this one away to somebody. Rules are as follows. Unfortunately, this one has to be US only. I apologize, guys, but that would cost me more than the kettle's worth to ship this out of the country, so unfortunately, this has gotta be US only. So you gotta be a subscriber to the channel, you gotta like the video, and then down below, you gotta comment with hashtag commenteer, hashtag coffee life. Put those two hashtags in a comment below and one week from the unbelow this video, I will select a winner and send you a very nice fellow kettle. Thank you guys for hanging in here with me and being a subscriber to the channel. I love you guys. Doing these sponsored videos with people, I try to make sure that we get a little something worked in for you guys to give a little something back to the people, especially you guys that hang in. So all the people that clicked off before the end, you don't get free shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this iced coffee and this AJ Fernandez New World. Hope you guys got some good information on this. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe found it a little entertaining. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And we'll see you in the next video. Keep talking. Gar keep going out. Nice morning, cup of coffee, good cigar. You can't beat it. Way to start your day. <laughs> <laughs>